over here, William. Welcome to the r, r Show. Sit back and relax and enjoy the best little sports show ever. I'm your host, Michael Roop, and uh, across from me via Zoom is my co-host, William Rumsey. Hello, William. Howdy. All right. Well, uh, we thought it was uh, yeah, very important to get a, uh, some content out for uh, the biggest game in Bengal history in quite some time. I can't remember uh, what the magnitude of a, a game uh, you know, how long has it been since the Bengals have been uh, at least three and one coming into week five? Was it 2018? Was it? I think it was 2018 last time they were three and one. Okay. And I, heck, I didn't even think it was. I could, I could be, I thought I heard that, but it was def, it's definitely been a while. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is a very, very big game on, on a lot of fronts. I think uh, the Bengals obviously want to, uh, you know, prove to the nation that, uh, they are legit and real, and to do that, to beat a, a quality opponent, as in the Green Bay Packers, would uh, definitely solidify and announce uh, to the uh, the world that uh, you know they're going to be a team to be reckoned with. Yeah, I mean, you've got Aaron Rodgers coming in, who's you know legendary Aaron Rodgers. I mean, he started the year off rocky. The off season was rocky for them. Came out first game, they got beat. I mean, their doors blown off, thirty eight to three. So like, oh my gosh. Is this the end of the pack with Aaron Rodgers? Then he wins three straight, and he's back to being Aaron Rodgers. So he comes into Cincinnati on a roll. But I will say that the Bengals, you know, I mean, I'm worried about Joe Mixon's ankle. But outside of that, they're about the healthiest they could probably be. Yeah. Speaking I mean, of Joe, I mean, the the reports out of the locker room is they're going to get he's going to give it a go. Uh, yeah. To see, uh, you know obviously uh where he's at hopefully uh I, I don't want him to play if, if he doesn't think he can make a difference because obviously um you know we just don't want him out there taking up space but if if we have a 90 percent joe mixing hey i'll take it yeah i mean because we get we get t higgins back so we've got all three of our receivers you know good receivers back ready to go we got Izama, um but the packers pass defense is really good i think they're eighth in the league so that worries me but i don't looking but at their standards out. exactly they're all pro cornerback is out and with them getting higgins back i just i don't think they've seen an offense like like i mean the saints you know they beat their doors off game one but i just i think that was an aberration yeah i will say this i talked to my neighbor yesterday um uh, and you know he is actually a uh, uh a writer for Pro Football Focus, and his team is uh, the Green Bay Packers. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I talked to him a little bit uh, yesterday, um, and he was stating that, uh, you know, the, uh, the Bengals should worry about the, uh, the pressure up the middle. Okay. Uh, this is going to be, uh, you know, and, and we always get worried. I mean, uh, we know we have the skill positions. Yeah. Uh, it's a matter of giving our uh, shiny toy uh, Joe Burrow time to get the ball, distribute the ball to all of those uh, weapons. Um, how do you see um, the line holding up today? Well, Hopkins is back, I, I believe. I know he was questionable, but I think he's back. Um, they've they've held up pretty well over the last couple weeks, but you just <laughs> – I'm not sold on the offensive line yet, and I just – I haven't been, but, you know, we'll see. Yeah, I'm, I'm – I'm, Deathly scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, even even when even though that we've been winning, um, that that line, I'm telling you, I mean, they've we've Joe's had to make some really really special plays, yep. and the, the one team that uh, they lost to, obviously the Bears, Bears. Uh, Mac and all those guys creating pressure, yep. and that's just I just don't know if they're they're able. A handle now. I don't know. Does Green Bay have anybody on that line that that could be a force uh, to create the pressure? Well, they must. I mean, because their pass defense is, is eighth in the least, so they must be creating some type of pressure. Yeah, uh, you know, I guess that's me lack of research on Green Bay's defensive line up the middle. But um, what? Well, well, I mean, I read an article this week about Jackson Carmen, so our rookie guard. You know. Yeah, on the athletics. So they, the coaches, they say he's making progress. Burroughs thinks he's making progress. 
But I believe pro football focus, I think they have him ranked like last in guard play. That's not good. That is not good. On a side note, who was ranked as the number one rookie grade so far this year? Well, it was uh, Creed Humphrey. Yes, the center that I heard beat on the drum said, take him in the second round. I don't care. That's a huge need for the Bengals. And he now look at that. He's graded as the number one rookie. Yeah, I just – I think that, you know, Jackson Carmen, and he could be good. I, I mean, you know, but if, when, you're the, when you're the seventh or eighth tackle taken in the draft, many teams have concerns if, if you drop that far. Yeah, yeah. So – I mean, I'm not going to totally write him off. I mean, no, you know, no, not by any stretch. Some of those guys take a, a minute to, to yeah. gel and stuff, and I get all that. I just, you know, I, I just, I wish they would have took this. I wish they would have addressed the line a little bit better via free agency, and then, uh, and then they would got. And I really wish they'd have got Humphrey. Yeah, so. because I mean. I'm in a text thread with some people about the Bengals and, and, you know, and and you and I beat this soul drum. I mean, we talk about this almost every week and everyone, Oh, see, they should have taken chase. should have taken. And I'm not chase is a stud. Don't get me wrong. But like, we need to make it through a 17 game schedule to, yeah. and then we can discuss, you know, don't, don't give me a four game chunk and then say, Oh, we made the right pick. We need to keep burrow upright the whole year. Yeah. Well, and I, t- and I, you know, and, and we've talked about this. I mean, they, they've definitely got all the skill positions in place. Uh, Burrow's got a couple years left on that rookie contract. I, I think it's really going to be scary good the next two years after this year because I think they will address that line a little bit more. But, hey, enough about that. Yeah, let's talk- so now, yeah, let's. About today. Defense yeah, so the. Going against Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. How them playing this out do you think they're going to uh try to establish the run or do you think that uh they think they uh, see some matchup nightmares uh in the secondary because one thing about aaron jones is when they see a a, a, a mismatch with him on a linebacker they will feed him the ball via the air uh how do you see us matching up with aaron jones out of the backfield well, they've got Logan Wilson. Do you think they'll put have Logan Wilson key in on Aaron Jones? I think that that's, that would be the play. That would be the play. And, and, and if anything, defensively, Logan Wilson's been lights out. I, yeah. mean, absolutely, I think we finally have got a linebacker we can, you know, hang our hat on. I mean, he's done nothing but make plays week in, week out. He's got a nose for the book, ball, obviously. Yeah. Uh, I mean, whether it, uh, you know, force of fumbles, uh, you know, fumble recoveries, interceptions. I mean, he has definitely got a nose for the ball. I'm yeah. excited about that defensive front. I think they're going to be some uh, matchup uh, problems for Green Bay. I think they may – are they still down uh, – is it Balaga? Yeah. No, Bakhtari. Bakhtari no, is Bak- out. Well, Bakhtari. Are they still down him? Yeah, he's out still. Yeah. He, I mean, I so, think he'll come back later in the year, but he's still out. Yeah, so I think that they can, um, you know, force uh, Roger into some earlier um, reads uh, because I, I think if they bracket Devontae Adams, now he's a, he's a, just a different animal. Yep. If you do something special, just just make him go to somebody else besides Devontae Adams. Yep. I think that we can definitely win this. What well, say you? Well, Last week, I mean, he did go to Randall Cobb. I think Cobb scored two tutties. Was it yeah. two? I know he's definitely scored one. It was two touchdowns, but you know what? I, I And I think that was probably by design because they know that they're going to have to get somebody else involved uh, as as the season goes on because it can't just be a Devontae Adams. No, I mean, and that's the, the Packers. So they're basically – it's Aaron Jones, A.J. Dillon – when they need some bruising up the middle, Devontae Adams, Randall Cobb. Those are the four guys that that you have to worry about. I Robert, think Robert Tunyon's uh, you well, know, a little. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, so those are the five guys that they have to – I think the Bengals have a good day on defense. I think they're healthy as they can be. Um, they've, they've shown – I don't think they've played an offense like Green Bay yet, obviously. So it, it'll be a test. They're at home. The jungle's going to be rocking. Um, so I think they'll have a good day. 
Yeah, I, I will tell you this. If I was the Bengals, I'd be pissed off being an underdog at home. Yeah. They, they should they, not be. No, no. And, and, you know, but then here we go again. You know, uh, publicly, I, I just don't think the outside world gives Bengals ever any credit. And I, if I was them, I'd be pissed off being an underdog, being three and one underdog at home. Well, uh, Green Bay hasn't shown me much yet either. I don't, I don't fault the outside world for not giving Bengals that because they just, <laughs> I, I just don't. Well, wait a second. Do do we? What was Joe? Was he the player of the week or month? What he was, was. He was the AFC player of the week. Well, you know, I, this you know, I said in our little post this week. I said expectations have arrived in Cincinnati. So, I think expectations for the fans have arrived. So yeah. that that's putting pressure on the team. I, I mean, but the Bengals in their history just have not handled expectations well. So until they prove. You know that I don't think the outside world is going to give them, you know. And last week, I mean, hell, they they were down what to the Jacksonville Jaguars at home on national television. Everybody's like, here we go again. Yeah. Well, me and you included. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it, they it, it, McPherson missed that kick at the beginning, and you're like, that's a bad omen, and it was. I mean, that first half, but then Joe Burrow showed showed you know what? Hey, when the chips are down, he was the one pick. Yeah, he put put him, put him on his shoulders. I mean, because every you know, any given Sunday or any given Thursday night, I mean, there's no typically no easy outs in the NFL. Um, you know, good teams can always have bad highs or bad games against bad teams, and that that happened, and they came back and won that game. Where typically, I'm telling you, Andy Dalton would not have come back and won that game. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. Um, how, how do you, so, uh, prediction time, William, how do you see this game playing out and, uh, give me who you think is going to win in the score? I think that the Bengals pull it out, um, 27 to 24. I like it. I like the 27, 24 call. I'm, I'm kind of right there, uh, in the, uh, in the same, uh, vicinity. I am going to call, uh, 31, 27. Okay. 27. I think there's a dust up on the Green Bay sideline between Aaron Rodgers and this coach. Uh, that's continually boiling. Uh, you know, there's always, uh, you know, Aaron, when, when things go wrong, the one thing Aaron does better than anybody, he deflects it to somebody else. He's never <laughs> he will on some, someone else. And I think uh, we will see in front of a, a national stage? Because I, I think it might be one of the game of the week for uh, for the – I would uh, hope. I, I think it is. So, you yeah. know, we'll stay. Hopefully we get some uh, primetime announcers. Can we can we get some uh, some good yeah. ones? What I think it's on Fox. So, what's that um, – I don't Are know. Are we talking – Who? Aikman Buck? Man, maybe. No. Is, if – if we get Aikman Buck, we've arrived. Are they, I mean, they should Burrow versus Rodgers. I mean, all right. So, so obviously, we're picking the Bengals to cover. Are we putting any money on the Bengals today? What do you think? <laughs> are, are we at that point? Are, I think we are. All right, let's do it. What, what say you? Let's let's throw uh, fifty bones at the uh, the Bengals. Let's it, let's back what we say. Fifty a piece or fifty total? Fifty a piece. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Hey, it's only money, William. Uh, that's true. That's hey, true. how many times does the Bengals burn us? <laughs> <laughs> Too many to count. That's right. That's right. But, but I, hey, I, they're here today. We believe in them. And Joe, we yeah. trust. Yeah. Let's roll. I, I think Burrow has a big day. I think he springboards off that second half performance against Jacksonville. I think that, uh, I think Zach Taylor, if, if he doesn't get in the way, because he makes some very questionable calls. I he will does. say that. He does. I, in, 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 you know, our, our good friend, uh, Rick Baker, uh, you know, he, he's, uh, you know, seesaw him back and forth, whether to fire or extend Zach Taylor. I mean, it's. It's a roller coaster with Rick. It is. It is. But uh, hopefully we don't have to fire him today. No. We uh, uh, extend him. So let's just, I really think the key to the game is the Bengals line to hold up. If the yep. Bengals line holds up, I think Burrow, with that depleted secondary of Green Bay, 
I think he throws to the tune of 375 today. 375? 375. Wow. Okay. I like yeah. it. I, I like it. Pulling it, and I call uh, – I think the Bengals' front line will uh, will have a, uh, a good day today. Does, uh, does Jamar Chase score a tutty today? <sighs> Market, he does. Boom. Yep. And you know what I would like to see? I'd like to see all three of those guys score. Boyd, Chase, and Higgins. I'd like yeah. to see them all because when 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 they're all feeding, then it's just the, the mojo's going. I mean, uh, Higgins I, Higgins being back is huge. Yeah. Hey. Well. Well. And top. And on top of that, Uzama. You know, there, remember the chemistry with him and Uzama yes. before he got hurt. Yes. He liked I think that's, you know, going to continue after that big game uh, last week where it was in the second half there. So I agree. I agree. Yeah. Are we well, getting all four of them touchdowns then? Got Mama? <laughs> you know, I very rarely give the four tutty. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? I'm feeling it. Let's do four to those four guys. Uzama, uh-huh. Chase, Evans, Boyd. Market man, we are drinking the orange Kool Aid, yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, and that's what we should. I tell you what, we were we had planned originally to go down there today, yeah. Uh, but I, I, and, and that being said, what did they say that was the biggest crowd they've had in how many years? Um, what was it? I think it's like six years, yeah. I think since 2016, if I'm 16, yeah, let me see. So, I mean. You can tell the city is excited. They're going to have 65,000 people there. It's going to be rocking. And I I think, the the jungle is going to be heard today. Yeah, I, I mean, there'll probably be a lot of Packers fans there, too. But, uh, I, yeah, and Packers fans always travel. They always yeah. have. But it's not that but, far of a trip for them, so I bet. Hey, if you're a Bengals fan, you see a cheese head in the crowd, you let them have it. Yeah, there we go. Right, you tell them it's the jungle, baby. There we go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, listen. Uh, thanks for joining us today. We will, uh, William and I. If this continues, William and I will get down into the jungle for a little live broadcast. Because uh, I tell you what, if they win this week, the next week is it is the Jets? Mm, or the, is it the Lions? Oh yeah, it was somebody that wasn't a very. Uh, Let's see. I don't know. We'll figure out. I the way we talked about it, all of a sudden we had the Bengals at eight and one. We did. <laughs> we did. We did. <laughs> but I tell you why, this is exciting. It's a good time to be a Bengals fan. If they win today, this city will be alive. I'll tell yes, you that. Yes, they will. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Uh, you know, wait. And uh, on a side note. William uh, will be back in the saddle at the proof mm-hmm. one or tomorrow night. Uh, we uh, so uh, our fans, if you want, come join us down there. At proof one twenty four. Uh, we will be uh, you know, broadcasting with uh, head uh, football coach uh, Ryan Kanega and head football coach Rain Baller and their big uh, you know county rivalry for the uh, South Dearborn Lawrenceburg game. So that should be a lot of fun. I don't know if they've had uh, both this good of records. Uh, you know, going into against each yeah. other. And I mean, what? Large Sports got one loss, South Dearborn two. So yeah. It should be a good deal. All right. We'll see you tomorrow, William. All right. Bye.